Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on Zoom. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops step dancing. So I had a few things to pick up at Walmart, so I thought I would just go through a little bit of the fall stuff. I actually haven't been inside the stores lately, so I don't even know what they have. But this stuff right here is super cute. I feel like that's good for like a little girl's room. And then, yeah, I was just checking out some of the fall items, this little fall sign. The pricing, though, it's really high this year. So, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be buying any of this. But um, I like to buy stuff after once it goes on sale or clearance and then I save it for the next year. Sometimes I'll pick up a couple pieces. Uh, I did pick up something from Aldi and I'll show you guys that in a bit. But yeah, like this wreath right here is $25. And I feel like that's a little high for the size of it. It's very pretty. I already have a wreath too, so. But yeah, this whole aisle is pretty much full. And I still have a lot of stuff on the shelf. So I just wanted to pick up, we went there to get some flowers, some mums and i wanted to get some cookies and some creamer and ended up picking up my daughter a couple things while i was there so yeah i just wanted to check this out and see what was uh, on the shelves I don't care today what the neighbors might say Put on my rain boots, my favorite chiffon dress I don't care today what the neighbors might say Cause I could stay inside and Take away inside, oh mate We're gonna try out this new pumpkin munchin' Dunkin' creamer Before I get my day started, I'm gonna need some coffee You guys want to know what kind of coffee i am drinking a little bit of pizza i've never actually tried this brand and i'm excited i heard this is really good any guys tried this let me know in the comments because i am curious it's definitely more expensive but um i need to do some decaf i heard this is the swiss method which is basically like a water method that they use to make a decaf rather than a chemical so that's why this is a little bit more expensive this is a 10 little 10 ounce bag is like ten dollars okay let's try this yeah, that's a plastic knife. It is what it is. I don't have any spoons right now. That's pretty good. Let's try a little bit more. I think I need a little bit more. I need a little bit of coffee with my cream. Because that's how mama likes it. Okay, I'm getting the pumpkin now. It's pretty good. Pretty good. It says here it's a real cream and sugar. So, hmm, I haven't tried this one before. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you real quick. I did not get a huge haul or anything. Um, I just added a couple pieces to my collection. I already have all my decor sitting over here and in these bins. I did pick up a little, a couple things. And right off the bat, this one right here, this sign, I don't know if you can tell how large this is, but I'm gonna show you guys later when I hang it up on the wall. I thought it was so cute. And this is from Aldi and I got this for $12.99. I cannot believe the size of this for the price. So this is gonna go up on this wall over here. I plan to put it over there. And uh, yeah, this is a great deal. There was only two left in the store last week when my mom bought it for me. So yeah, this you can't beat this, guys. This right here at TJ Maxx, or even Target and Walmart now would be like 30 to $40. Yeah, for this size, I would say it, it, at least 30 bucks. So I cannot believe this. And it's so cute. It says, pick apples, bake pies, jump in a pile of leaves, make a scarecrow, carve pumpkins, make chili, which by the way, I am doing that today. So we're gonna make some chili, watch football, have a bonfire, roast marshmallows, make caramel apples, go on a hayride, watch a scary movie and snuggle. So that is too cute and it's actually reversible. So let me show you guys the, the other side. Okay, there's the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this around Thanksgiving and then boom, it says gather here with a grateful heart. So cute. 
I'm so glad I got this before they sold out. Matter of fact, I might be adding a couple more pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and film my decorate with me video, but I might be adding some more stuff at Aldi if I can get there. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But I did go to Walmart today, picked up a couple things. These right here, these leggings for my daughter, just thought they were really cute, love the fall colors. It's like a cheetah rust color and for five bucks, can't beat these leggings. And then I got these dishes right here. I have another set of these in a different print. Actually over there, you can see one of the bowls. I have a big mess of dishes I have to do. This is the other print and I ended up not getting the whole set. I just got a plate and a bowl because I do, when I do recipe videos and I wanna show the food at the end, then I'll use these. But um, these are really cute. These are time and table. These are really great quality, guys. I love these sets. It has the gold rim right here. And if you put it through the dishwasher, it stays. So yeah, I'm really impressed with these right here. Thought these were so cute. And they do have like a little fall, little, I thought it was a little bit of fallish. Got these Better Homes and Gardens. These scented wax cubes. And I got it in banana pumpkin bread. So I wanna try this, smelled really good on the shelf. So I'm gonna throw this in my warmer, let you guys know how I like this. About to try this really soon. And then I got some sugar cookies, already ate one of these. Yes, I am guilty. Yeah, I thought I would go ahead and fill my cookie jar right here. This is actually vintage right here. I bought this at a thrift store, but, and then I got some Duncan pumpkin munchin. So yeah, I got this for the coffee, you know, just have to try this for fall. And guys, you like my nails? Okay, I thought it went with the theme. It's like an orangey red color. I would say it's more orange, yeah. So Sally Hansen, yeah. And then I got this pumpkin spice, Bath and Body Works. My son actually bought this for me and he surprised me with the candle. I actually haven't had one of their candles in like forever. I would say a couple years. I don't buy that st kind of stuff too much, but um, yeah, he got me this and it smells amazing. Pumpkin spice latte. Mmm, it smells so good. Pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso, homemade whipped cream, sprinkling of cinnamon sugar with natural essential oils. Oh my gosh, guys, this one smells so good. I don't even wanna burn it too much because I just wanna save it. I know, I know, I need to burn it. But anyway, I got this at the dollar store last year, so yeah, they still have those. I just came from the Dollar Tree just checking out what they have. So I got these two packages of, they call these chrysanthemum, chrysanthemums, something like that. But the a lot of people use these as annuals and put them on the porch, but you can actually plant these and these are perennials. They'll come back every year. So I got two really small little packages, $1.88, and my plan is to plant these in the garden. I wanna plant these in the front under my rose bushes. I have some double knockout rose bushes in the front and I wanna put these under those. I really like these because in the fall you get this burst of you know, yellow color. It's just so beautiful. This little plant right here will get super big. It'll be a humongous plant. They're gorgeous. So for $1.88, I got two of these and I'm planning on putting those in the garden. So yeah, that's my little haul. Like I said, I already have stuff from previous years, so I'm not buying too much this year. I really was tempted to buy some pillows and a throw, but I'm like, no, you know, let's let's not do that because I have a lot of stuff. And like I said, I like to buy stuff after the season. I like to find stuff on clearance and on sale. That's just the kind of shopper that I am. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd add a couple pieces in here. So let's go get these in the ground. Let's go do this. I have my two double knockout roses and I wanna put them one on each side of this little boulder right here. put them one there and one there eventually I'm gonna have my son or my husband move this boulder right here because this is gonna end up getting way too big for this boulder right here yeah but in order to do them oh, symmetrical which I just like things symmetrical I feel like it's got to go like right there what do you guys think I have two big double knockout roses that get humongous with buds all over them so I think the yellow will be really pretty right here so I'll just move the boulder later it's not a big deal Tight. You're the 
So I got them in the ground looking really small, but that's okay. They're gonna like double in size. Not really worried about that. What I wanna do is give them a little bit of fertilizer and water them in. And that's gonna be it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on each one, and then I'm just gonna water it in with my watering can. So let's go do that. I went ahead and put the wax cube in here. This is the Better Homes and Gardens pumpkin and banana bread. Yes, this smells really good. So I have this in my wax warmer. I love this wax warmer. This is like an Edison style. I just love fall scents. I especially love pumpkin scents, it's my favorite. So yeah, I do recommend those. They're about $2 for a pack, so you can't go wrong with that. So I'm gonna be making chili today. I have just everything laying out right here. I have my green peppers already had these chopped, so I wanna go ahead and use these in the recipe. And then I have another pepper right here, two jalapenos, might de these a little bit, an onion, some celery, cilantro, one pound of a hamburger, and by the way, is this stuff shrinking? Cause this just doesn't seem like one pound. Am I going crazy? Is it me? Or have you guys noticed this? Like what in the world? I feel like in person, like this is like a micro pound or something like a baby pound. It's just really weird, but okay. And then I have some avocado for the end. I have this half a can of these green chilies. I use another recipe and I wanna go ahead and throw this in there and finish this up. I have my beans over here. Then I have my spices. I'm gonna do cumin some chili powder, of course, some oregano, onion powder, and since I don't have regular garlic, I'm gonna do this minced garlic right here. And then my tomatoes and some sauce. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a pot of chili. It's great when the weather gets chilly and everything, and I thought it would be really good today. Okay guys, I'm gonna use this today. I have a good amount of chops, so I'm gonna use this Vidalia Chop Wizard. And I'm gonna try to link this blue, I love this thing. If I have a lot of stuff to chop, then I'm definitely going this route. So, to save me a little time, so I can't chop in all this. So you just lay it in here, and bam. I'll take a little bit of the seeds out of this one. I don't want it too spicy. Okay, now I'm going to do my pepper in here. And then my onion. You do need to chop it up into small little pieces to get in to fit in there, but to me, it's definitely worth it. I just quickly chop it up into little sections to fit in there. I'm doing it like that, and then I'm gonna lay it in there. Boom, okay, you can see, there you go. It's all in here, my jalapeno. I'm gonna throw it all in there at the same time so it's not a big deal. I love me some cilantro. I don't know about you guys. If I don't use all that cilantro in this dish, then I will put it away and we even throw this in our jarred salsa that we buy from the grocery store. Just throw you like a tablespoon of this in there. So good. Just makes it seem more homemade, fresh. And I'll put this in everything pretty much. Bring out some of this 
moisture that's in here. And I'm gonna put a little bit in. I'll probably keep the paper towel in here, to be honest. And just put that in there. And I'm gonna keep this in the fridge. And if I don't use this within so many days, I'll get rid of it, but this will last, you know, a few days to a week. Okay, and I already have my peppers, so we are good. We are all done with that. Let's go over here to the pot. I already have some rice done. Put this to the side. Okay, while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my beans and wash all my beans. Got some chili beans, some pinto beans, and some kidney beans. Okay, so the last can has its chili beans and chili sauce, but I wanted to go ahead and wash it out. I'm gonna do one can with the sauce and then one can I washed. So yeah, I like to wash my beans. Hey baby, what's up? Oh, you got the cookie. Oh. Mm -hmm. Try one of these cookies. Yeah. You like it? <laughs> it's good, huh? Let me show you these leggings that I bought. Yeah, they're so cute. I love this rust color. It's like fall colors. But they may be a little bit big, but that's okay. She's eating her cookie, going into the cookie jar. And then I have all my stuff over here and I need to go ahead and, I'm almost done with this hamburger, so. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add everything into the pot. I already drained my hamburger. I'm gonna go ahead and add my beans. Pretty much just dumping everything in here. I'm gonna call this dump and go chili. my diced tomatoes. I already added my green chilies and then I'm gonna add tomato sauce. I'm gonna add all my chopped up vegetables in here. Jalapenos, onions, peppers. If I had fresh garlic, it'd go in there too, but I don't have any right now. There's the other peppers I want to add in there. My celery. And then my cilantro, I'm gonna add, not all of it. I'm gonna save this for the top at the end. For the top, everybody can put it on their, on top of their chili. Okay, let's add the seasonings. Cumin always so hard to get out. You guys notice that? It's like almost impossible. Okay, now some onion powder. And then my minced garlic from Target. Anybody say that anymore? Add some Himalayan salt. And some just good old pepper. Okay, I'm gonna give this a mix and I'm gonna see where we're at here. water. See now I would have put this in my bigger pot but my son made rice and he used my bigger pot so I have this kind of big but it's just not quite big enough but I'm gonna work with it. Okay let's give this a taste. It's really good. Just the right amount of spice. I'm gonna let this cook for a while and then I'm gonna show you guys when we plate this up. What did you ask me? Okay so it's a fall bucket list and then can you read the first one? Pick apples. What's the next one? I don't know. You don't know? Bake pies. Oh, Ooh, bake pies. What kind of pie do you want to bake? I want to make a strawberry pie. Strawberry pie? What about pumpkin pie? I'm gonna love some pumpkin pie now. Halloween. 
You know what? Grandma does do that that strawberry pie from scratch. Ooh, we're gonna try that. Okay, jump in a pile of leaves. We can definitely do that. We have some leaves in the backyard. We can definitely do that one. Make a scarecrow? We've never done that. Oh. Yeah, we've never. I don't even know how to do that. You know what? I do remember people used to do that. They used to basically get like an old t-shirt, like, like a flannel shirt and they stuff it. So yeah, interesting. I'm not sure if I'm going to try that one. What about carving pumpkins? Oh, we're definitely gonna do that, right? That would be fun. We'll do that. And look, make- Can you cut the faces out? Yeah. I love that one. And look, what's the next one say? Make chili? <gasps> what? Wait, well, we're, we've the, already done that. The, what's the one you were on? This one right here. I should get a little chalk pen and we should just mark that off. Yeah. What do you think? Wait, no, no. We have to do a check if we, if we did. So, do got we the have, chalk pen. Do we pick apples from Well, okay, we definitely did. We are making chili right now. So let's, I mm -hmm. want a bigger one. Okay. Make We've done chili. something on this list right here. <laughs> Watch football, we'll leave that for dad. I believe he's already done that. Uh, so I could probably ball. check that one off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know that one's ball. done. Okay, what about have a bonfire? That means like the fire pit. Yeah, we're we gonna do, do that. that we're gonna do that. We can do, we gotta do that on the weekend. Roast marshmallows, so we combine that. We'll have a fire, then we'll roast marshmallows. Make caramel apples. Ooh, wait, what does that mean? You know those apples that they're dipped in like caramel or sprinkles? Yeah, I or the sprinkles and they have the stick in them and you just grab it and you just eat it. Those are good. Those are really good. What about go on a hayride? When you get in the back of like a tractor, like they drive you around. We've been on a scary one, but we haven't been on a regular one. What about watch a scary movie? You watch scary stuff every day. You watch um, Jillian and Addie and what's the other one you watch and they're spooky. Carly, Aubrey, Kay, all that. Yeah, so we're, we're definitely already gonna do this. And then snuggle. We do that every day. We already snuggle. So yeah, we have some work to do. Okay, so we'll come back when this chili is done. At least we have something marked off the list. Okay guys, it's all done. It's really delicious. I just love making this, especially when the weather turns cold. We love some chili in here. And this pot right here will last me two to three days because I put it over rice. So yeah, this will last me a while. So I'm gonna show you how I plate it up. I've got my new bowl that I just got at Walmart. I already put some rice in my bowl. So let's see. Mmm, we have to put the toppings. Okay, now let's put some cheese. Mmm, we love some cheese, right? And then some sour cream. Avocado. And then we're avocado. Yummy. You're gonna eat some? I'm avocado. Yes. Yeah. Right, right Yay. there. There's her bowl. Yum. And here's her bowl. And then to top it all off, Ooh. I definitely have to have my cilantro. I love cilantro. A little obsessed. And then I'll put a little bit on hers because... Because I don't really know if I like it. Yeah, well, you eat it all the time. So that's it, guys. That's the chili recipe. Guys, amazing. If want, guys, if you want to try this at home, just follow her suggestions. My what? My your your your. your oh, in, oh, you said instructions. Yeah. My so yeah. Guys, follow my instructions. So guys, subscribe this channel, and I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.